In this video, we're going to find all second order partials for this function. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. Let's start maybe by finding del z del x. I'm going to go really slow because it's really, really easy to mess this up. So when we're finding the partial derivative of z with respect to x, we have to treat all of the y's as constants. So this is a constant. So the derivative of 18x is 18, and we're left with e to the y. Again, we're taking the partial with respect to x. This hangs out because it's a constant. The derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x times the derivative of the inside chain rule, negative 1. Let's check this. We took the partial with respect to x. So all of the y's are constants. So this derivative is 18. This hangs out because it's a constant. This, deriv this hangs out because it's a constant. This derivative is e to the negative x times negative 1. Let's rewrite this. Del z del x is going to be 18 e to the y plus 16y e to the negative x. Let's do it again. Let's take the second derivative of z and then we're differentiating with respect to x twice. So now we just look here and take the partial again with respect to x. This is going to be 0 because it has a y, so it's gone, it vanishes. This hangs out, it's a constant, so we get 16y. The derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x. And then you multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is negative 1. That's the derivative of the inside function. So this, was, this will be the second order partial derivative with respect to x is negative 16y e to the negative x. So that is one of our answers. Okay, that's one of our answers. Now let's find the partial with respect to y. So del z del y. So now we're looking here again. All of the x's are constants. So the partial with respect to y, well the derivative of e to the y is e to the y. So this whole thing here stays. The 18x hangs out and the derivative of e to the y is e to the y. This derivative is going to be the derivative of y is 1. Everything else stays. So it's minus 16 e to the negative x. Let's do it again. Okay, do it one more time. So now we're taking the partial with respect to y. Again, this stays. This is a constant, 18x. The derivative of e to the y is e to the y. It's tricky, right? This takes a lot of thinking. And then this derivative is 0, so it's gone. So that is our other answer. Let's check that. We took the derivative of this with respect to y. So the 18x is a constant, it stays there. The derivative of e to the y is e to the y. This is a constant, its derivative vanishes, so it's gone. The very last one, or the very last two we'll do now, let's do one of the mixed partials. Let's say, let's do, let's do this one. So what does this mean? This means you first do y, then you do x. So this means we look here, and we take the partial with respect to x. So taking the partial with respect to x here, the derivative of 18x is 18. This hangs out, so we get 18 e to the y. Taking the partial with respect to x, this is going to be an e to the negative x times negative 1. So it's going to be a plus 16, skip the step there, right, because it'll be, it'll be this. And then when you multiply these, it becomes positive. Let's check that. Boom. Derivative of 18x is 18. That hangs out. This derivative is going to have a chain rule, and it's going to become positive. So that is our first mixed partial. This should be the same as the other mixed partial, but it's a really good idea to compute it because you can check your answer. You should get the same thing in most of these problems, in fact in all of these problems we're doing, because everything is continuous. Whenever it's continuous, the mixed partials are equal. That's called, I think it's Clairaut's theorem, I can't say it right, or Schwartz's theorem. Um, okay, so this one means first you do x, then you do y. So we've already done x, so we look here and we do y. So the derivative of this is just going to be that. So nothing changes. Oh, that's a good sign. And then we do it again, derivative with respect to y. So it's going to be 16 e to the negative x. Oh, that feels really good. And the reason that feels really good is because it's the same thing. So we know we did it right. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.